Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to tie the strongest knot you will ever tie. Now this works with like circle hooks or J hooks or even like weighted hooks. Um, you know, if you're fishing with Texas rigs and stuff like that, you know, this can be very helpful for you. It usually will not slip. It is probably the strongest knot I've ever used for, you know, live bait or um, Texas rigs. You know, just works really well. A uh, good thing about it is, you know, if you set it up right, it's going to increase your hookup ratio because of the way it's uh, tied. It's going to, you know, make sure that hook is driven into the fish's mouth. You know, it makes sure that you have the biggest chance of hooking that fish. So, you know, this won't work with like jig heads or stuff like that. Um, you know, that kind of stuff you can use, you know, your normal clinch knot or a loop knot. Um, go ahead and check out my other videos if you want to figure out how to tie a clinch knot uh, the fastest way possible and a loop knot. Yeah, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, so I'm going to show you how this, I'm going to show you how to tie this knot right now and also show you how it increases your hookup ratio. The first thing you want to do, or I have some, you know, 10 to 20 pound monofilament, I'm not sure, but, uh, you know, I'd recommend use your normal leader or your normal line, whatever line you normally use. Um, again, you can use circle hooks, J hooks. This is a three out circle hook. I'm not sure what, what, uh, what size this is. Um, weighted, weighted hooks, um, like weighted Texas rig hooks, um, and stuff like that. I don't think jig heads will work with this. So I'm going to start out. I think I'm probably just going to show you with the circle hook. Because this applies to whatever else you're going to use it with. So first thing you want to do. This is probably the most important part. If you want to increase your hookup ratio. Is the very first step. Is to poke your line through the eyelet. This way. Wherever the hook is pointed. Whatever side the hook is on. That's the side you want to poke through because, you know, I'll show you here in a bit. Um, so the next thing you want to do, you want to pull the tag through, leave plenty of tag. And what you want to do, just make a loop like that. All right, keep this, keep the line parallel with the hook right there. All right, take your tag and go through that loop over, over the hook like that and boom and you want to do that about you know I do about four times so four to five times for me go through there again do that about two more times go through there again and I'm holding the eyelet that way it doesn't slip up and go like up the main line or go up the line so boom like that that's about four that's about what I usually use, and I'm just going to tighten it up like that, and then I'm just going to slide it up like that, and boom, that thing is not slipping. That is the strongest knot that you will ever use. Okay, next thing, alright, I don't have anything to cut my tag in with, um, that's fine, I, it doesn't matter. Um, so. Basically, that thing is not coming loose. If anything's going to break your line, it's going to be structure or just something else. It's not going to be the knot. The knot's not, not going to slip uh, unless it's really loose. you got to make sure that's nice and tight. So, that's that. So, how does this increase your hookup ratio? So, basically, the first step, the most important step was to go through this. Was to go through through this eyelet right here and what that does is that it's going to give some leverage right there at the eye of the hook just to, you know just a little bit more to where it can just turn into the fish's mouth like that that way if they grab onto it this mostly applies to like texas rig hooks but it will apply to circle hooks as well but so, again, it will give you some leverage right here. Instead of just having a straight knot, you know, it can slide um, and stuff like that. You know, this does get a lot of hookups if you if you uh, hook, do the hook set right. This will give you more leverage. That way, it can turn into the fish's mouth more. Just like that. And that's how it gives you more leverage. And that's how you tie the knot. Hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys later.